I can't believe it! Today was like any other day until we ran into an extremely dangerous XP golem that was terrorizing the world! I never thought I would be afraid of XP, Bongo! He was so scary! We crafted blocker armor and the powerful orb destroyer sword in order to take him down! Keep watching to see what happens! It's such a nice day outside, Bongo. The weather's nice, can't complain. Not too many clouds in the sky, but you know what would make this better? I'm down to my last piece of food and I'm pretty hungry. Well, would you like some potatoes? No, I'm feeling, uh, you know. Oh, you want some pork chops? Well, go on ahead, Bongo, I won't stop you. Anything to keep the hunger at bay. Yep. <coughs> Ow! Whoa, are you okay, Bongo? I saw you take damage. It didn't look like the pig was fighting back. That's kind of weird. We should kill some more animals. How about the sheep? Ow! Oh, that hurt you too. That's really strange, Bongo. Let's see, there's another pig over here. Let's see if it'll do anything. Ow, that really hurt. I wonder, is it only animals causing this? What about fish? Let me try fish. Do baby sheep do anything? I can only test that because well, I only have two wheat. Let's see if the baby sheep will hurt. Ow! That really hurt! Why is everything hurting us? Alright, let's see if the fish will actually do anything. Come on, here's one. <laughs> Ow! That's really weird. I don't think that fish hit you that hard. What if we're getting hurt when we gain experience orbs? Guess that is something. After all, once you kill mobs, you get XP. And then when you make new mobs, you also get XP. So maybe it is. What's going on? Hey, do you see that over there? I've been seeing it, but I didn't want to bring attention to it when we're already dealing with a problem. It looks kind of like a village, except it's a lot more built up. I wonder why that is. Maybe they know what's going on. Wait, it's not a huge village. It's just one villager house. It's one house, but it's surrounded by these giant walls. A lava moat! Ow, 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 Well, that was really well hidden. I didn't even think to check there. Bongo, do you see? There's a villager on that tower. I say we sneak in. I guess we should. After all, they must have answers to this. Do you still have dirt? Yeah, I do. I have a ton. We can just climb over. That's a lot of golems. What is going on here? This is really secure. I guess we can go inside the house and ask what's going on. Um, hello, Mr. Villager. There's something really weird going on here, and you look like the only person who can answer that for us. Well, that sounds really scary. Big golem that destroyed your entire village? Wait, an XP golem? That definitely has something to do with why XP orbs are hurting us. Well, I would see why you'd have to move out here. An XP golem sounds really scary. We can try getting him for you. We just need a little bit of help. Well, thanks so much for offering your food. XP might be a little dangerous. It might not be a choice, Cookie. Because if we're gonna have to kit up and mine diamonds and stuff, we're gonna get XP anyway. I think we're just gonna have to have a lot of food to heal us. If there's an XP golem, whenever something weird happens, new things are added to the crafting table. I wonder what else would be added. <gasps> Bongo, I found something really cool. There's new armor called blocker armor, but it looks really expensive to make. And I also found something else. It's a sword called the orb destroyer. But it also looks really expensive to make, too. A whole block of diamond and a block of lapis lazuli. We should probably get crafting those, but where's the mine? Close to the village? Well, then we'd have to go right past that XP golem. I got a plan. Let's get as much food as we can and figure out how we're going to approach that village without getting hurt by the XP golem. I can make you more bread, Bongo. I got you some bread, and I didn't get hurt when I made it, so you should be safe to make as much as you want. Let's see what else there is around here. <gasps> Potatoes! I'll just take some of this. Let's use that watchtower up over there to see if we can find that village. Oop! I'm sorry, Mr. Villager. We didn't mean to surprise you. We were just trying to figure out where the village is. I don't have a very good feeling about this cookie. Let's take a look and see how bad this XP golem really is. It looks like we're gonna have to go through the village anyway to get to that mine that he was talking about. So we might as well be brave and go over now. Whoa, this is a lot more destruction than I thought. Look out, Bongo. I think I see something over there. Let's take a look. There it is. That thing is really scary. Whoa, look out. Looks like we're okay for now. Hey, do you see a mine anywhere? We'll have to look around the village. It should be around here somewhere. I see TNT on the mountainside. That might be it. 
this does look like a mine. Okay, we're safe in here at least. And look, <laughs> Lapis. Yeah, ow, ow, ow. Okay, I need to heal. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, you know what? I think I have enough Lapis. I have 50. Are you sure? After all, it's gonna be a lot that we need. Now all we need to do is find diamonds. Look out, there's a dungeon right there. I really want to break that dungeon block, but that's gonna give me XP too. Oh, but killing zombies is gonna give us XP also. You... Ow! Man, Bongo, XP really does hurt. Like, I just ended up getting killed. Oh, no, no, no. I've never been more afraid of a tiny little yellow green circle. That spawner was too much XP for me. At least we got some diamonds. This is awesome. It's not enough, but it should be enough to make a dent at least. Now let's try and find some diamonds. It might be a little hard, but we can do it. Looks like this leads all the way down to diamond height. Yeah, I'm going to use my spyglass here. We can see diamonds right there, plain as day. Let's get down and get all of them. Better late than never. Gotta bite the bullet. Ow! How much did that take, Bongo? It seems like each orb takes away one heart. But there's so many diamonds, I just want to mine them all. All right, Cookie, how many diamonds do you have? I have 16 diamonds. At least now we can make a crafting bench and we can put on the armor right away. I'm going to go ahead and craft us. Well, actually, I'm going to get the full set for both of us. This armor looks so cool. That's awesome. We're going to have so many diamonds, Bongo. It's going to be so worth it. We're going to need those diamonds for this sword that we saw. Let me look at that recipe again. We need a block of diamond, a block okay. of lapis, and a cactus soul? I'm not sure you can find a cactus soul. I never even heard of that. We know cactuses live in a uh, desert, so maybe we can go there and figure it out. Yeah, that's a really good idea, Bongo. Let's get moving. Well, this is the desert, but all we need to do is figure out how to get the cactus soul. Found a temple up ahead. Yeah, maybe it has what we need. Ooh, emeralds and flame and iron and more emeralds. I still don't know how we're supposed to find this cactus soul. Maybe we have to read the recipe a bit better. Cactus soul. Drop from cactus using soul torch. We need to get a soul torch. And to do that, we need to go to the nether. Which is a good thing that I got this flint and steel. And I got iron. So if I use this, I can make a bucket. And get the lava and then quickly make our little obsidian portal. Grab the soul sand and then make this super cool sword. And look, a lava pool. Great. Yeah, we could turn the whole thing into obsidian and just start mining it away. I actually have six extra diamonds. I can make us diamond pickaxes. Okay, let's get to work. Okay, that's two picks. One for me and one for you. Here, I'll make an infinite water source just in case I mess it up a little. Cookie, what if I just pour water across the whole pool? I'm afraid it might make cobblestone. Is that not how it works? It's a different kind of lava. If it's moving lava, it'll turn into cobblestone. If it's normal, not moving lava, that's obsidian. If I do this... This looks like it'll be more than enough for us. Perfect. Let's get going. I got a bunch of obsidian, Bongo. Now, um, all we have to do is make the portal. A little here, and then you can make the arches. Okay. Now, would you like to do the honors, Bongo? To the nether we go. All right, and let's be quick so we don't get attacked by anything. You got it. Here we are, Bongo. All we gotta do is find soul sand. Let's be really careful, Bongo. I hope we find some soon. Uh, look to your right, Cookie. Whoa! You have better eyes than I do, Bongo. I never liked the nether. It's spooky. Yeah, I don't either. Well, I have five soul sand. How about you? I have seven. That should be enough. We should just probably get back to the portal. Look out! It's shooting at us! Hurry, 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 hurry! Hurry, hurry! Uh-oh! It broke the portal! Okay, we gotta take care of them first. We're a lot busier than you think, guest. We're trying to save the world. We've almost got him, Bongo. Okay, that was one. Now all we need to do is get to this guy. Yes! You got him! Okay, let's just get out of here. Yeah, that was really close. I don't ever want to go back to the nether again. This place stinks. So how do we make these cactus souls? Did it say to just break it with the soul torch? I guess it's worth a shot. After all, there's a soul. I think this one over here is really cute. I'll use this one. Awesome. Now we have two cactus souls. Now all we need to do is craft this into the orb destroyer. Okay, so if I remember, it's soul on the bottom. Then the lapis lazuli, and then the block of diamond. And then it makes this awesome orb destroyer. Whoa. Look how awesome this is. We look so cool. We're invincible with these. Why don't we go back and save that village? Yeah, let's go. He can't be bullying them forever. There it is, Cookie. Let's get going. Hey, big mean XP golem. You can't be messing with these villagers anymore. It's not nice. 
Ow! It's just throwing XP at us. Ow! That really hurt. Hey, you stop it, you big meanie. Ah, okay, I gotta back up a bit. We can't let him hurt the villagers. You better stop hurting the villagers. Come on. Just one more hit. I can't get to it. I got him! We saved the village, Bongo. All we have to do is help them fix it. You want to test first to see if the XP still hurts? Let me see. Ow, 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 ow! I guess not! Stop, 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 stop! Stop it! Stop! Well, I couldn't be for sure until I knew it actually hurt that bad. That was kind of funny. And you know, I always have to prank Bongo somehow. Not funny, Cookie. I'm sorry, but we should be celebrating and not fighting. Well, we can celebrate later because that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, everybody. This was super fun. We hope you guys liked, comment, and subscribe. It'd be awesome if you did. And make sure to see all of these other things that we did that are appearing right on your screen now. Until next time, though. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, everyone.